بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ان دس سیکشن وی ویل ڈسکس ٹویل پوائنٹ ٹین سم پریکٹیکل میکسیمم اینڈ منیمم پرابلمس فار آئی جی ایس سی اینڈ او لیول ایڈیشنل میتھامیٹکس کورس ہیئر ان دس کیس وی ویل ڈسکس سم میکسیمم اینڈ منیمم ایریاز اور منیمم پیرامیٹرز آف ڈفرنٹ فنکشنس and uh, so for this uh, case we will solve exercise uh, 12.10 uh, 12.10 uh, let's solve uh, the first problem the sum of the two number x and y is 8 so x plus y is equal to 8 express y in terms of x so it can it's very easy and the second given that b is equal to x y x multiply by y write down an expression for p in terms of x so in place of this equation we will place uh, uh, 8 minus x here x into 8 minus x uh, so we will have this function now find the maximum value of p so that would be easy and given that s is equal to x square plus y square write down an expression for s in terms of x find the minimum value of s so we'll solve this equation uh, uh, problem number uh, 12 dash uh, 10 problem 1 so this is the first part x plus y is equal to 8 and uh, we have to write y in terms of x so this y is equal to 8 minus x so p is x and y so in place of y we can place this 8 minus x here yeah? so this is 8x minus x square the maximum value of p so we have to differentiate with respect to x so we differentiate we, we get x and this is 2x so this is uh, 8 minus 2x is equal to 0 x is equal to 4 so we'll place this x is equal to 4 and we have uh, this y is equal to 4 8 minus 4 this is 8 minus 4 is equal to y is equal to 4 so this 4 so second derivative and on second derivative we have obtained uh, second derivatives is minus 2 so this is negative means slope is falling with the minimum maximum point so this is less than 0 so this p is equal to p 16 is a maximum point so 4 4 is a maximum point uh, coordinate 4 and 4 is a maximum point so this is the maximum point uh, similarly for this s is equal to x square plus y, y square in place of x we have x square this y 8 minus x as obtained earlier here yeah. so in place of y this, we have this function s is equal to x square this is 8 minus b whole square is this so this is x square so take the derivative of this we have 4x minus 16 is equal to 0 x is equal to 4 and the uh, second derivative this is positive so s is equal to 32 and this is the value that we have to obtain and this is uh, greater than 0 this is the minimum value of this one so this is ideal so problem number uh, Um, let's solve this uh, number two the diagram shows a rectangular garden with a fence on three of its sides uh, this uh, here we have one fence second fence and the third fence three sides and the wall is on the fourth side so here we have a wall uh, on this side we have a fence so the total length of the fence is 100 meter so this plus this and this is equal to 100 meter and the area enclosed is a a m square show that a is equal to half x 100 minus x so this is the area uh, find the maximum area of the garden enclosed uh, and the value of x for which this occurs so we have to solve this so we have to find uh, uh, area total area of the fence and show first we show that area is equals to half x 100 minus x because this length is 100 so this is 100 so so the area and the maximum area
well, there are very practical problems, a very important uh, topic. So here we have a wall, this is a fence of 100 meters, so this is x, so this is 100 minus x, half value, half value 100 minus x. This is x, so remaining is 100 minus x, so 100 minus x and 100 minus x, half 100 minus x and half 100 minus x is equal to 100 minus x plus x is equal to 100. So this will give us a hundred. So this is uh, area is equal to this length into this. So this is area. So this is half hundred minus x into x is this. So this is the area. Now uh, we add this, this, and this to get this hundred. So multiply this with uh, two. This area and this area is this, and this is this. So this is hundred. So from this we have obtained this. So A is equal to, area is equal to, uh, this is uh, simply 50x minus uh, half x square. So this is area and we take the derivative of this. So this becomes 50 and this is 2x upon 2. This is so x 50 minus x is equal to 0. x minus 50 is equal to 0. So x is equal to 50. So take the derivative of this again and this is 0 and this is uh, this is minus 1. So, this is minus 1. So, this area second derivative is less than 0 means uh, this is uh, the slope is uh, uh, falling negative. So, this is the maximum maximum area that we have obtained. The maximum area will be obtained for x is equal to 50. So, the area is equal to uh, place this place x is equal to 50 here. So, this is 50, 50. Uh, and this area is uh, maximum. So this is 1250 mm square uh, meter square. So this is 50, this is 100 minus 50, 50. So 1250 meter square is the maximum area. That we so this is very, very practical problem, and uh, uh, this kind of problem may, uh, may be solved in real life. So, uh, let's solve uh, this given then. Uh, a piece of wire of length 60 centimeter is bent to form a sector of a circle. So, uh, with this uh, length, this is a wire uh, have, having a length of 60 centimeter is bent to form a sector of a circle. This sector of circle is formed with this 60 centimeter wire. Uh, uh, circle and a sector of a circle with a radius r centimeter and a sector angle theta. So this angle is theta. The total area enclosed by the shape is a centimeter square. Express theta in terms of r. So we have to express this in terms of r. So So this is uh, the length of the perimeter is 60 centimeter of the wire the sector of a circle is equal to SR theta. So this is SR theta is equal to R theta. This is R, this is R, R, R and R theta. So this is the total perimeter is 2R plus R theta. So the length of the wire is equal to 60 centimeter is equal to 2R, R plus R and this sector r theta so, sector length is this so this is total length so we have obtained this one. so theta is equal to 60 by r minus 2 and uh, area we have to show this area is half r square theta so this r is equal to r theta so this show this so this is simple so this is uh, Uh, this S uh, is equal to R theta, uh, this theta is equal to 60 by R 
minus 2. So show that a is equal to 30 minus r square. Since a is equal to half r square theta, so uh, this is this is uh, half r square theta. So in place of theta, we can write 60 my, by r minus 2. So on simplification, we have this uh, r will cancel out with this one when multiplying this is 30 and this r with r and one r remains so 30 r and this is 2 2 will cancel with this one and r square is there so this is a is equal to 30 r minus r square now let's solve uh, the derivative of this it takes a derivative this becomes 30 and this is 2 r so we take this is equal to 0 and r is equal to 50 so so for this r is equal to 15 and dA by dr is equal to minus 2. So take the second derivative of this one and we have this minus 2. So this is negative. So it's less than 0 means falling. So the maximum point was that. So a is equal to this 15. So this area is 225 at r is equal to 15. So since uh, d a square so derivative second order derivative of the a area with respect to radius is less than zero so this point is a maximum point so this 15 225 the area is 225 and the, and the x value is 15 this area is the maximum area at this maximum point so this is the maximum point and uh, now let's solve uh, problem number uh, Uh, well, uh, let's solve the problem 8. Uh, a cylinder has a radius r and height h centimeter and the volume of this cylinder is 250 pi centimeter cube and the surface area is a centimeter square. This is a surface area of the cylinder. Cylinder has a top bottom and a uh, rectangular shape wrapping to give a surface area. So this uh, express h in terms of r and show that a is equal to 2 pi r square plus 500 pi on r and then find dA by dr and second derivative of a with respect to r square and uh, r second derivative of area and find the value of r for which there is a stationary value of a determine the magnitude and nature of this stationary values. So this is very important problem and uh, let's move to this. Uh, Here we have a volume of cylinder, this height is h and this is radius, volume is given as 250 pi centimeter square, the surface area is a and v is equal to pi r square h, so volume is given 250 pi, so we equate it and from here we have this h is equal to 250 upon r square, so this h has obtained, this is a part 1, show that a is equal to 2 pi r square plus 5. 500 pi upon r. Uh, this is the uh, area is basically the bottom area, top area. This is this area and this is the top area and this is the rolled area, surface uh, on the side area. So this is uh, uh, pi r square, pi r square, the top bottom and the side area is 2 pi r h. This circumference 2 pi r, this multiply by with this height, a rectangular shape. So this is 2 pi r. So this is 2 pi r square plus 2 pi r h, so 2 pi r square, 2 pi r h is this, two, 2 pi r square plus this 250 multiplied by this pi r, 500 pi upon r. So this was uh, the required area we have shown and we have shown it here and in a part, uh, second, uh, we have to part c, we have to find the dA by dr and then the second order derivative. So differentiate with respect to r. So this is 2 
so 4 pi r so this is 4 pi r and this is uh, this r will go up and then multi minus sign here and then r square in the denominator so this is so for a stationary point da by dr is equal to 0 so we have this 4 pi r is equal to this so r cube is equal to this so r cube is equal to r is equal to 5 so this r is equal to 5 we have this area is equal to this one so 150 pi is the area for r is equal to 5 so second order derivative we take out the second order derivative of this one and this is equals to 4 pi minus this one. so placing this is equal to 4 pi 100 pi upon r cube uh, value of a is minimum if this is greater than 0 so this is all positive a radius is always positive so this is always greater than 0 so if this is greater than 0 then the a point is a minimum point in this question so this is solved here uh, let's move to problem number Uh, let's solve the problem number 11 11 the diagram shows a solid cylinder of radius r uh, centimeter and height 2 h so this is a diagram shows a solid cylinder of radius r this is a inscribed uh, cylinder within a within a uh, sphere a solid sphere the cylinder is there uh, and a height 2 h this uh, height of the cylinder is 2 h uh, this uh, the, the ra uh, radius of the sphere is 5 and uh, the volume of the cylinder is v express r in terms of h this r in terms of h and show that v is equal to 2 pi h 25 minus h square and find the value of h for which there is a stationary value of v there is a stationary value of v and then determine the nature of this stationary value so this v is basically the volume of the cylinder so volume of the cylinder is equal to 2 pi h 25 minus h so we have to show that express r in terms of h this is a difficult one so we will solve this uh, here. Mm. This is the problem cylinder radius R. Uh, this is the height 2h and the sphere radius is 5 cm square from the figure we can say that r this is 2h so this is half h from here to here from the center so this is h from here to here so r square plus h square is equal to 5 cm square so r is equal to 5 square minus h square so this uh, h may be transferred to the right and then r square so r is equal to 25 minus h square and uh, this uh, v square is equal to uh, uh, pi r square and this is 2 h so volume of the cylinder is uh, uh, pi r square this is r so this is the area and this is height is 2 h so this is uh, r square is uh, this 25 uh, minus uh, h square so this is r square uh, r square is this take the square root so take the square on both sides so 25 minus h square so in place of r square we can place this and this will give us this so this is this we have to show that this is uh, volume of the cylinder so now take the derivatives with respect to h and uh, takes the uh, value here so this uh, on the part one and this is part two. so this is uh, uh, the simple uh, u into v so 
u v dash v u dash so this is simple uh, 4 minus 4 pi h square plus 50 pi minus 2 pi h cube so take uh, this is 2 pi minus 4 pi is 6 pi h square is going to this for the stationary point this is equals to 0 so 6 pi h square is equal to 50 pi and this h is equal to 25 upon 3 so h is equal to 5 upon under root 3 so this under root 3 can cancel with this one so 5 under root 3 by 3 so this is the height of the dimension of uh, uh, cylinder and then uh, our second derivatives is this and this shows that uh, this is negative so if this negative this so this is uh, the maximum point that we have obtained. so the stationary point is the maximum so this was the nature of the uh, uh, stationary point h so after that uh, it will go out of the uh, sphere So this is uh, question number 11, uh, now solve question number uh, challenging problem 30. So the diagram shows a right uh, circular cone of the base radius r centimeter. Uh, this is the base radius r centimeter and the height h. This is height h centimeter cut from a solid sphere. This is the solid sphere of radius 10 centimeter. Its radius is uh, 10 centimeter. This sphere has a solid sphere radius is 10 centimeter the volume of the cone is v centimeter cube express r in terms of h this r in terms of h show that volume is equal to 1 over 3 pi h square bracket 20 minus h this we have to show this v is equal to volume of this cone is this in terms of h so this is basically the r 20 minus h is the r. So find the value of the h for which there is a stationary value of v. So for h value, we have to find the stationary value of this v and uh, then determine the magnitude and nature of this stationary value. So I'll solve it uh, there. This is the challenging problem 13 and uh, here we have a sphere radius uh, this sphere has a radius 10 centimeters and uh, uh, this height is basically uh, uh, this height is uh, h this height is h so the the, the dia of this sphere is uh, uh, 20 so this is uh, 10 from here to here it is 10 from here to here it is 10 so this is from here to here it is 20 so this height is h so the remaining height is 20 minus h because when we add that we will get 20 so from here to here it is 20 so this is uh, 20 minus t uh, h is equal to this so this height is basically uh, from here to here it is 10 from here to here it is 10 so this height is basically height minus 10 so this is h minus 10. so this is h minus 10 so h minus 10 is square this is h minus 10 so this height this height is h minus 10 square plus 10 square is is equals to the radius this radius this radius 
is tan of the square so this is radius radius r and radius and this is height square so this is height so this is height from here to here it is h minus 10 from here to here this is r square so this is h uh, this is 10 square so radius of the sphere this is the radius of the sphere so this is 10 square so now solve it we have r square is equal to 20 h minus h and r is equal to 20 h minus h square and this square. so this is uh, the radius we have to show with this value so this is the part one now cone is equal to 1 over 3 pi r square h so in place of r we can write this one so this so this is the second part this v is equal to 1 over 3 pi h 20 h minus h so this is the second part of the problem now takes the derivative here so this is uh, u this is v u v so we solve it u v the derivatives you will be dh and we have obtained it so this is a stationary point for this stationary point we have this equal to 0 so this 4 t pi h upon 3 minus pi h square is equal to 0 and take out the sum constant uh, common here and we have this. so h is equal to 40 by 3 or this h is equal to 0 this is not a uh, possible h is equal to 0 so this one is h is equal to 13 1 over 3 so volume is equal to 1 over 3 pi h square 20 pi h uh, we place this value here so in place of h we place this value and we get this value here. so this is uh, the value that we have obtained this multiplied by this we have this value so this is 81 so, by this uh, we have uh, this is uh, uh, second derivative and this placing this values of this coordinates uh, that we have obtained earlier so by placing this h is equal to 40 by 3 as obtained here we get this this value is negative so slope is decreasing so the value is a maximum the stationary point is a maximum it's because this now the function is decreasing after maximum value so this is uh, what we required so this was very very important exercise and very difficult as well uh, in the next session we'll discuss some exam exercises which is very very important back to the examination